now crawling at the slowest speed possible through the canal. We have the CSL Cinnaboy. They're moving real slow today because of the low visibility. Uh, but once again, we have the CSL Cinnaboy. It was built as the Jean Parisien in 1977 by the Davy Shipbuilding Company of Lausanne, Quebec, Canada. She measures 740 feet in length. 78 feet in width and 48 feet in depth. She is powered by two 4,500 horsepower, 10 cylinder peel stick diesel engines, and those give her a top speed of 13 knots or about 15 miles per hour. She is also equipped with bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Ocinaboyne has 23 hatches on her deck, which open into one cargo hole located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 54 by 16 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 36,800 tons, and above her deck is a 258-foot cell phone loading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 5,500 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The CSL Cinnaboyne is owned and operated by the Canadian Steamship Lines Incorporated of, or by Canada Steamship Lines Incorporated of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. If I would have called it the Canadian Steamship Lines, the boat nerds online would have been upset. Her name refers to the Assiniboine River, which flows through the grain producing regions of Western Canada. The Assiniboine's older name, Jean Parisien, was in honor of the senior deputy chairman of the Power Corporation of Canada at the time of her launching in 1977. In 2005, Canada Steamship Lines spent $30 million on her new four-body replacement for the Assiniboine, and she was then rechristened with her current name. Today, the Assiniboine primarily transports iron ore across the Great Lakes and through the St. Lawrence Seaway. Canada sh Steamship Lines can trace its beginnings back to 1845 when their single paddle wheel steamboat operated on the St. Lawrence River. The modern company was created in 1913 with the merger of 11 Canadian shipping companies today. Their fleet is one of the largest on the Great Lakes. If you see any crew on board, make sure you give them a big wave and welcome them back to the Twin Ports. They are on their way to go load iron ore pellets over at Canadian National. But once again, we have the CSL, CSL Cinnaboyne, originally built in 1977. She measures 740 feet in length and has the ability to travel a top speed of 13 knots or about 50 miles per hour. Maybe if you guys cheer loud enough, they'll give you a salute. Maybe if you cheer loud, it'll give you a salute. Maybe do like that tug thing where you pump your arm up and down like when you see a semi on the highway. Maybe they'll understand that reference. It is one long and two short blasts of the horn initiated by the CSL Cinnaboyne and then reciprocated by the bridge.